Welcome everyone to yet another Fortnite mobile tutorial. In this video I'll show you guys how to unlock 120fps in Fortnite. Keep in mind that this tutorial will not only work on 90fps supported devices, but all devices which can run Fortnite to this day. Before I begin, however, I'll have to mention that allowing Fortnite to run at a higher fps will significantly increase heat and power consumption. So proceed at your own risk. With that out of the way, let's begin. We'll need to download some apps. The first one is multiple accounts, then we'll need to download a browser which doesn't use Google services like Firefox. Then you'll need the root browser, I'll leave you a link for it down below. After that, drag multiple accounts to your home screen, as this is the app you'll be using to open and play Fortnite from now on. Open it and delete all the apps you see, like I do. After you've done that, press the plus sign and add the apps that I mentioned. Some will try to start and give some pop-ups, but make sure to exit and close them. After you're done, open Fortnite and let it download. After it's finished, press yes and make sure to select Firefox. After you're logged in, make sure to check the lower textures so you get higher FPS in game. Go into settings, make sure to tick the highest FPS that your device has and leave the resolution scale to whatever you want. I don't recommend going above 75% though. After that, quit Fortnite and open the root browser. You'll need to press the small home icon in the top left corner, then go to the path that you see on screen right now. Open the config file, like I do. And scroll down till you find this. You might see 30, 60 or even 90 FPS here. You'll simply replace that with 120. Don't forget to click the save icon and then enter one more time and confirm that the FPS mode is changed. Now you can quit this app and proceed with the next step. The next step is only for devices with LTPO technology. If you're unsure that your device has one, try to google it. If you're sure that your device doesn't have that technology, feel free to skip this step. We'll need two more apps to download. The first one is SetEdit, which you can get from the Play Store, and the second one can be downloaded using the link in the description. After you've done that, open SetEdit and add three new options, which are Peak Refresh Rate, Min Refresh Rate, and User Refresh Rate. All of them will have the value 1. After you've done that, you need to find each setting, press on it, and tap Guardian. This basically recreates the settings in case you restart your phone, record your screen, or something like that. Before you open Fortnite next time, make sure to open SetEdit, press Jobs, then Settings Guardian, and switch between the modes, as you can see on the screen right now. Now we can launch Fortnite. Let it load, then make sure to never change any settings whatsoever. Doing that will reset the config file that you just changed. So you will need to do that step again. Load into the game and... There you go. Keep in mind that you might get limited to 60 FPS again from time to time. If that happens, make sure to open recent apps like I do and then open Fortnite again. And would you look at that. I've also tried this on my OnePlus pad. It can support up to 60 FPS by default, but by doing the tutorial, I've unlocked 120 FPS on it as well. But what should you do when there's an update? Do I need to do the whole process again? Well, no. You just have to update Fortnite by opening the Epic Games app, then open Fortnite within multiple accounts and let it download. You won't need to tinker with the standalone app, which is outside multiple accounts ever again. From now on, you will only use the app within this app. Make sense? If not, well, I'm sorry. 
I hope this tutorial unlocked the stupid 60th best bearer that we've all got. If that helped you, make sure to like this video and maybe drop a sub, as it really helps me and my channel grow and also improve. Anyway, my name is Rosarox, and I'll catch you in the next one.